wouldn't it be so funny if it's actually smelled like weed it's like oh i'm putting weed in my face hi guys my name is camila and welcome to my channel today's video is a first impression slash baby review on the elf hemp derived cannabis sativa seed oil collection i haven't heard of this collection before until yesterday. My best friend gifted me these items, so I'm actually really excited to try them. The packaging looks so cute. I already washed my face, so I will be trying on these products for the first time with you guys so we can learn if it has good ingredients, bad ingredients, if the texture is good, if the packaging is cute. I actually have dry, sensitive skin, my current skincare routine actually is i'm using the inky list um please comment below if you would like me to review the products that i've been using talking about if it's been working for me and how long i've been using them so yeah let me know and i can talk about all the different inky list products that i've been using um i actually haven't used elf skincare products before um except their elf illuminating eye cream i love this eye cream i actually use it when i am doing my makeup and i put it under my eye because i will be using foundation and concealer and powder and i don't want my skin to be so dry so this actually helps with creases and dry patches which is amazing for me. It's actually one of the few eye creams that I use or that I buy. I don't really use eye cream on my skincare routine, but this one is definitely a must when I am doing my makeup. Let's get started with these products. I'm very, very excited to see and open them. So we'll start with their conditioning lip balm. It is Balm. It is infused with cannabis sativa to help nourish, condition, and moisturize even the most sensitive lips, leaving them with a healthy shine. Infused with sunflower seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, and Jehovah oil. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I use actually I use Jehovah oil all the time for skin types normal dry combination and oily which is great let's open this and see how it looks inside regular it actually looks like a little mini mascara let's see oh oh wow okay so i'm guessing oh we open it like this It doesn't smell like anything. Oh, that's perfect. The ingredients, yeah, no fragrance. That's perfect. I, I don't like any fragrance on my chapsticks. I like just moisturizing them because that's what I usually do before I put any lipstick on. Um, it doesn't have any color, which I like. Yeah, and it's actually very moisturizing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but in the ingredient list, I don't see anything bad. I mean, a lip balm is a lip balm, you know? It's not gonna be like crazy amazing, but so far it's really good. Let's actually read it. It says, make your skin extra happy and hydrated with this hemp-derived cannabis sativa face cream. The creamy rich texture blends easily into the skin to deliver supreme moisture and nourishment infused with vitamin b5 hyaluronic acid and niacinamide Ooh, niacinamide is a great ingredient it is free of sulfate parabens mineral oil fragrance i love that um alcohol silicone and it's gluten free um gently massage a small amount of cream onto clean skin Great to use alone before makeup and add it to your morning and night skincare routine. Okay. Oh, I love it. It's super cute. Very simple packaging. I love that. Happy Hydration Cream. I haven't used their hydration 
um, collection. Um, I'm excited. I wonder if it's any different. Um, but yes, this is a rich face cream that moisturizes and nourishes the skin. Oh, it definitely looks rich. So let's try a little bit. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't smell. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything, which is nice. I like creams that don't smell like anything because I know that sometimes some fragrances can make my skin super, super red. And it sucks. I have to be careful with what kind of skincare I'm using because I can break out easily or I get like dry skin pack like patches. And I also have eczema or eczema, however you pronounce it. And sometimes I could get it on my face or all around my body. We can talk about that in another video and what kind of products I use for my eczema. But so far, feels good. Um, nothing too crazy. I think it also has, let's see the ingredients. Oh, it actually has some peptides in them which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a dermatologist, so I don't know specifically what peptides are good, which ones are bad, what ingredients, um, but they're more on the bottom of the ingredients, on the ingredient list, but it's pretty good. I like peptides on my moisturizer. I know that helps with sun damage and it helps with fine lines and wrinkles and all that good stuff. This is the Nourishing Facial Oil. This one is a lightweight, non-greasy oil, we'll see about that, that absorbs quickly into the skin to leave you with a nourishing complexion and a natural, healthy radiance. Infused with hemp-derived cannabis sativa for its skin conditioning, moisturizing, and nourishing benefits. I wonder if there's a difference between hemp-derived cannabis sativa or indica, or a hybrid of the two, I'm not, really sure what's the difference. I would have to definitely Google that. But supposedly, according to the packaging, it gives conditioning and moisturizing and nourishing benefits, which I love. That's what I need. Living in LA, I need all the nourishing I can get because this is a very dry climate. Um, it is also infused with squalene, jojoba oil, rose hip, rose hip oil, and sunflower seed oil. Squalene is a great, great ingredient. I know that ingredient everyone raves about from, um, what's his name? The YouTuber, uh, Skincare with Hiram. I don't know if you guys have heard of that YouTuber, but he loves squalene and he loves nice and mine. So this is amazing that both of these products have those two ingredients that apparently any type of skincare you should have these two ingredients in your skincare products. Even if you have oily combination, dry skin, sensitive skin, they're great for you. The same thing, it's free of sulfates, parabens, mineral oils, fragrance, alcohol, silicone, and it's gluten-free, which is great. Um, the directions are apply a few drops onto your skin and gently pat your face to encourage absorption. Mix into your foundation or skincare products for added moisture and radiance. This probably I won't be using every day because I'm a very simple girl. I don't know if I wanna add another face oil in my routine, but I do use argan oil and jojoba oil sometimes on my hair or my body. Sometimes if I need extra moisture, I will put that at night, kind of like a skincare mask to just really soak up the moisture because if I'm gonna go out during the day and put all that my face is gonna look like a grease ball and I have dry skin I think um, this is probably gonna be like my other oils and using them like more at night or maybe mixing them with some lotion if I need extra moisture maybe after a day oh my god why is this stuck in here oh oh let's look at the package I love the packaging though. It has all the wheat leaves. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Lightweight, nourishing facial oil. Apply a few drops into the skin and gently pat. Okay. And it looks like this. It has a little dropper. Oh, 
I don't smell anything. Wouldn't it be so funny if it actually smelled like weed? It's like, oh, I'm putting weed in my face. I don't know. I like that it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't have any fragrance. I love that. And it is pretty lightweight. I mean, I'm just gonna put it in my hands. Maybe on my elbows. Cause yeah, oil is great for your elbowsies. So they're not dry and looking all ashy. You know, your hands. Cause that's how you tell age by your hands. I love that e.l.f. has great affordable products with amazing clean ingredients like squalene and acetamide and great peptides for anti-aging, which I love. And now they're incorporating hemp, which we now learn that it has nourishing and moisturizing benefits, which I will definitely be using all these products on my skincare routine. Please comment below if you have ever used any e.l.f. skincare products. And if you would like me to do an inky list product review, I would love to do that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.